here at Green Bay, it's our second year of piloting. Putting together the, the courses was really fun and it brought out the creativity in us. It was really cool, we could throw out everything we knew that had to be done and start from scratch. So we could put together this course that really resonated with us and we weren't tied to assessment. You've got the freedom to do what works for your students and what they're interested in. And that really helps engagement, which is so good. My experience so far this year has been pretty good because it's interesting and it's engaging, but you don't spend so long on one topic that it kind of just drags on and on. I think that the changes have been positive because it's more inclusive what we do. We've done a lot of writing in science this year, but there's also been a lot of practical experiments and stuff and you can be creative in different ways. It's very different from what I did at school and you know we'd come to exams and we'd have lots of preparation and lots of revision to do at this time of year. Doing the work over the course of the year means that that, that pressure of, of really pushing hard for a limited period is lessened and, and that, that will undoubtedly reduce the stress. Fewer assessments means that you can do a lot more formative assessments you can give them a lot more opportunities to actually present their learning in different contexts. But they're repeating those skills and in, in repeating those skills over and over again, they're doing a lot of learning. They're actually learning the science without actually realising they're learning the science half the time. It's cool. So seeing Annie Rose, my youngest daughter, go through the pilot program. The difference, I guess, that stood out the most is that instead of just talking about content or some interesting fact that, that she's learnt, she's talking more about bigger picture ideas around science. I think it really just gives you more of a grasp on the wider idea around science and how to use it in life after school. In terms of for level two and three, I'm going into physics next year and I feel confident enough with what we've done I've got all the learning needed. I think that I've benefited as much as I can off it. I don't feel stressed about going into level two. Really, it set me up well. My advice to teachers who are planning to go for the pilots in 2023 is to completely rethink what you're doing, completely rethink how you teach, how you put courses together. Talk to the students about context. That's really important. If it's what they know and interested in, they'll remember more than the first 20 elements of the periodic table. Talk to your kids, that's what I'd say is the biggest advice, is talk to them, ask them what they're doing, keep in touch with the teachers if you're concerned at all, and just try to be a part of that journey with them. You only get them as these gorgeous, crazy thinking teenagers once, and it's a real journey for them as well. So I think being there for them through that once in a lifetime is really important. <laughs>